This is an example of a fairly inexpensive amateur radio that you could start with. You can get them for cheaper. This is a Tribander, and it's the BTEC UV5X3, about 5 watts. I'm going to open it up and talk about it. It comes with a manual, fairly well translated. See the box here, the radio, the battery, and then it comes with two antennas. So it comes with one that's the dual band, uh, 2 meter 440, and the other one is the 220, uh, the uh, third band. So you got to keep track of these. I'm big on labeling these so I can, in fact, all these parts because I'll find this stuff somewhere in a year or so and go, what does this go with? And then it also comes with a little charger stand and a clip. The thing to note on this is these are great little entry level radios to get started and just get on the map. Understand you're going to have to futz with it. Understand you'll probably need to spend another $40 for a better antenna. I have the tri-bander I got antenna in here and, and the cable to connect it up to the computer because you really want to set these things up with the software on a computer. It's generally Windows-based, so you'll need a Windows machine. I'm talking on a Mac, but I have a Windows machine I use for this. A lot of, of the stuff for ham radio works on a Windows. You can get a, a cheap used laptop or something to be able to do that. And this is just a entry level. This is... To understand in amateur radio, you can get going with something this inexpensive to either be 30 bucks plus maybe $20 extra for accessories or about 60 bucks plus about 20 or $40 of accessories. And then you're able to connect to the local repeaters, which is a beginning. Just to start, I, of course, love my ICOMs that are bigger radios, but I like to have this around. This is going to be my 220 radio. Uh, this is going to be my backup radio. And this is going to be my loan to the new people who sign up that are friends' hams to get them on quickly. Let me show you what it looks like together. So this is the back. This is the battery. You can get extended batteries. Watch YouTube videos. I'll put some links of YouTube videos of using it on. You'll need a screwdriver to put the little back on. Then you have the two antennas. Here's one of them. Here's the other. And here's what I love. Use only batteries approved by the original manufacturer. Made in China, the source of all types of non-original manufacturer batteries. And then you have this belt clip that fits on. You're going to unscrew these screws to put the belt clip on. Screwing it in. It's kind of spring-loaded, so you got to kind of hold it and tweak with it. You want to make the first screw just tight enough that you can line up the other, this little indent. So once you get the first screw in, it's much easier. Now the question is, which one of these is for 440 and 2 meter and which one is for the 220? Well, guess what? It's hidden secretly right in there. So right in there, you'll see it. Right in there. So you may need a magnifier to see that, but it tells you which is which. That's why I would take your labeler, put your name on it, your call sign or something, and put it on here so you know which is which of these, or just get the tri-band add-on. So we'll go ahead and attach it. Take one, attach it. Notice the, the way it connects, and do it carefully. Don't force those screws. This is not real expensive gear. Here's the little charging unit, which is nice. Follow the instructions. It's usually good to fully charge these things before you start. The way you turn this little guy on is turn the knob here. Channel mode. There we go. Makes a little noise. There's some plastic to peel off and you're good to go. Then just program in your frequencies. Have fun with it again. This is not going to be a $300 radio, but it's a great starter. You'll always use it for something. I'm a big fan of the ICOM radios, but Yezu makes good stuff. And Kenwood, talk to local hams. You know, my view on this stuff is get the stuff the local ham 
team has because it'll be easier to get help on it. That's the key thing. Anyway, this is just to give you an idea what the, something like this radio looks like as a way to get started. Have a great day. This is Martin Brossman, KI4CFS. Please make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you'll get future videos and let me know what else you want to know. I'm back in the hobby and I'm excited to help people. Take care.